AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawk Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Day State, Air Arms, Sports Match Rings UK, H&N Sport, Aztec Optics, and JSB Predator Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Guys, we're here with Brian Meckler, owner of Ed Gun West. Hey, Steve. Hey, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. And I've asked Brian to take us through all the product on the table here. We're going to hit at least four or five guns and then some Ed Gun product. Okay. But before we dive into that, if they don't know you, who is Ed Gun? Ed Gun is uh, a Russian manufacturer that uh, is moving locations because of uh, situations that are pretty obvious. But uh, Ed Gun West is a company I started in 2016. I partnered with Ed. And um, we started importing guns. I started with like four thousand dollars and kind of grew it from there. And uh, so it started as kind of a hobby or a love. And then I, I fell in love with the guns, the durability, and the things that are kind of were useful for me. So it was a natural fit. And I started the company. I didn't really know what I was doing and started selling them. So. Uh, what is that? Five years later? Six years later? Yeah, later, six, 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 six and, years. And from a guy like me outside looking in, your stuff is just loved by everyone. So yeah. for them, would you mind just grabbing a gun and taking them through it? Sure. We'll run right down the whole table here. Yeah. So what you got there is an Ed Gun. Oh, 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 all you me. Yep. Okay. So this is the Ed Gun Lushy Two. Uh, they come in 250, 350, 450, and 600 as options. Okay. The standards are 350 and 450, and for our American friends, that's like nine and three quarter and 13 and three quarter inches. Uh, they're semi-automatic. They're they break open. They fold in half. There's a detachable eight-round magazine with a little retention clip on there. Super cool. So they're semi-automatic, but I guess we could probably call them a revolver. So would you say that that's this gun's kind of claim to fame? What makes it special? The semi-automatic feature. I think. And the foldability. I think the thing that makes it really special is the valve, actually. Okay. The valve. What makes the valve unique is it solved a problem that other air guns haven't had a chance to solve yet, and that is that it doesn't require any force to open. So every air gun has a valve that sits on a plenum and you have to have a hammer to open it. Uh -huh. And balancing that hammer spring and, ha and valve opening and valve dwell time is part of what makes the gun consistent. Yeah, that's what gives you that nice flat right. shot. Right, so shot. this, what makes this consistent is that it's pneumatically controlled. So no matter wow. what I set the regulator at, the valve dwell time stays consistent. So this is just something different and you don't really have to tune that part of it. Right, you tune, an it's, automatic feature. it's tunable, but really the only feature you really have to tune a lot is just the regulator. And we'll talk about the regulator on the next gun, so sounds, we don't get, sounds good. don't get boring. But what barrel is it running? Do you mind me asking? This one's a 350. Who makes the barrels? Uh, Alpha barrels. Alpha barrels. They're unchoked, 12 groove, polygon. Is it? Will it shoot pellets and slugs? Both pellets and slugs. And that's, as a matter of fact, we got Nick, who is custom making slugs from NSA uh -huh. for the Leshy. So they fit specifically for the magazine. They won't fall out, and their bore, their diameter is correct for the bore. Super cool. Can we yeah. grab another one? Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Put that one away there. Yep. All right. What is this little so, sucker? This is Lelia, and you did a review on the R5M. Yeah, like it's big brother. This is like. this little brother. Oh yes. yeah, yeah the, I, I reviewed you, the you, big one. You did the big brother, yeah. yeah. So this one is uh, it's pretty cool. It's a monocoque frame, and the barrel is tensioned underneath here. So there's a barrel bolt that tensions it, and so the air tube and frame stay independent. So you know all air tubes stretch a little bit uh -huh. and can cause point of impact problems. Yeah. So they solved it by separating these two pieces. So also, What's cool about it is... I can see that. It's like just a couple of millimeters in between there. Yeah, yeah. It's like it floats just about. It floats, it. yeah. So you can... But it's you, still it's, super rigid. It looks right. Like it's it. super... This is the one he ran over with the truck. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, you, yeah. YouTube, you can actually yeah. see him literally driving over one yeah, of Yeah, this, this is it. So um, what's cool is if you have a leak or you need to repair it, uh -huh. uh, you won't lose point of impact because this is... It's completely independent, so if you, you're not gonna have to reserve your scope after fixing it. Super cool. So that's pretty cool. Super tiny. How long is that? Uh, it's 23 and a half inches. Okay. Comes with a built-in uh, offset moderator, and uh, the holds three magazines on top. And these are either nine or ten shot magazines, 22 or 25, and 177 is what these are offered in. Uh huh. And it's fully ambidextrous, so you can cock it on either side. Yeah, it's huge for these guys. They're always asking for that. Yeah. I love how it's up here, so you can just kind of yeah, it's kind of like stay a on the gun and like a P80. Yeah. Yeah. That is bad so, ass. That one fits you good there. Huh? That does fit me good yeah. for, for the little guy. Yeah. <laughs> the little guy in the room. Yeah. That's a perfect little truck gun. That is awesome. 
All right, let's grab another. All right, so this one is also a Leshy. Uh-huh. Um, and I'll uh, cover a couple different features on it. This is the 250 model. This is the new model called the Raven Silencer that we got coming out. All right. Um, and what's cool about it is it's a quick detach. What? But cool, right? Yeah. So we're also... That reminds me of like a trilog for firearms. Ex exactly what it is. Yeah. Super yeah. cool. Yeah, so you just line up the little white lug right there. Oh, turn it on. Goodness. Quarter turn and you're good. It's stackable. So if you need to make it shorter, there's sections that you can remove. Uh -huh, so it's all these are little modular pieces Yeah, they're here? little modular pieces. Uh -huh. And uh, this adapter... Dude, is, that sounded good when you put that Isn't in. that cool? Yeah, it's, it's real clicky. Ooh, so it's real like peptic. Yeah. Right? Is that the right word? Uh, haptic. 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 Yeah. Gives you that haptic, haptic that air gun or haptic feedback. Yeah. So that's... Uh, and then that adapter will come in half UNF or M14. So if you have a different brand gun and you want to put this Raven silencer on there, you can. So this is just a shorter version of, of this. So this, this is a longer, longer barrel. Longer barrel. Yep. Okay. I'm with you. Yeah. All right. We're doing great. All right. We're moving along. Tear it up. All right. So this is one of our custom additions. Mm -hmm. um, a guy that used to sh shape surfboards for me came by and said, hey, I do surcoding now. So I'm like, let's, let's rock one. You're a California boy, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. we can... Uh, so. But we'll talk about the regulator. What's mm -hmm. different, the regulator sits perpendicular on these now. And so this little cup, the Belleville washers are independent of pressure. Right. So there's a check valve underneath. So that just essentially means I can go up and down under pressure. Which is kind of a big deal. Yeah, so you, you don't, don't have to see decast. a lot of that in our industry. Yeah. So, and this is about, about 80% of your speed can be controlled with just the regulator. Because it has the same valve, right. the same special, there what do you call that valve? Uh, is there like a cool name for it? No, there isn't, but it does have a U.S. patent. Just call it the cool valve. Yeah, it's cool valve. The cool different valve. Yeah, it's actually called a rapid trigger on the on the patent. Okay. It's called a rapid trigger. So, um, rapid trigger valve. Yeah, so that's what's kind of cool about this one. Um, there are some jets that you can change for power. You could kind of think of those as your hammer spring tension. Uh-huh. I'm noticing a difference. This has a bottle. Right. So this is an air reservoir here, right? Yes, correct. Just so they can see it. That's an air reservoir. That is, yeah. It has an accessory bottle here to grab this guy. Um, the difference is your air reservoir is here. Right. Can you also put that on here? Yeah. So, so I'm this, seeing that little aperture down. Well, there. that's for a quick detach uh, sling. Oh, okay. Um, so that's this, a sling QD mount. QD mount. Yep, right. Yep. So you can actually take this bottle off, or take this tank off, mm -hmm. and replace it with a 300 or 350 cc tank. Oh, that's right, because it's got one here and one. Right. Here. So this is a the plenum here yep. and and air tube here. They hit it so well, I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two, yeah it's actually, yeah. two of them on it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. it's got two. And if you guys are new to air gunning, I know how important regulated is is to you. All the air gun product is regulated. Right, yeah, they're all regulated. And you were using Lothar barrels, but now you're using... Now we're using barrel. Alpha Precision because uh, the direction is so much slug. Oh, and these are not okay. choked. But Alpha, I mean, uh, Lothar multi barrels are, are incredible, and I love those too. But I just wanted to be able to have a, a gun that was a slug gun and a pellet gun, so that you can just choose whatever. Brian ain't lying. Slugs are like everything to everybody. Yeah. They and they're exploding. You know, ammo is an issue for every shooting sport. Sure. So having more variety of ammo is a smart move, I think. Yes, 100%. Yeah. All right. Okay, I see a little on. guy down yeah, there. Yeah, this is a 250. So this is essentially is the same as this gun here. Uh -huh. You can see that these things are configurable. Yes. And uh, interestingly enough, they're also multi-caliber. So they can be 177, 22, 25, or 30 caliber. The whole lineup? The or whole the, lineup. Or, or, All of them, yeah. So you, these are just, you can think of them as kind of like an AR-15 upper and lower. Yeah. And so this is your frame. Right. And this is your power source. And this silencer comes off with two screws on the top. So this we can amazing. put a, different plates on here, different uh -huh. hand guards, m lock hand guards. So we have a bunch of variety. So whatever you're shooting, if you want a gun that you want to practice running steel with, it's mm -hmm. cheaper. Mm -hmm. We got that. If you want like a little backpack truck gun. And these oh, all fold and lock right. too. So nice. that's, Look how tiny that thing is. Look at that. Yeah, I feel like I could almost just almost almost put it a pocket, in my pocket. Yeah, yeah. Do a Barney Fife with that bad. They're only about five pounds the way that set up right there total. Holy, that's so cool. How do you how do you control like where was that regulator on this one? Same here. It just you just slide. Oh, it right it's back. just hides the yeah. surf surfer board guy. Yeah, yeah. Surfboard guy made that. Yeah, for yeah. You. So the little uh, little koozie hides it. Koozie. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's an Ed Gun koozie. Ed Gun koozie. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Super cool. One more down on there in the end, I Yeah, see. so this is just another option. You can see that you can run with a handguard. Mm -hmm. So if you want to run a, a light, uh, we have a thermal on top of here for like night hunting. And again, the, the, the bottom of the tank. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, another configuration that you can run if you for whatever your needs are. So. Well, you know, speaking of needs, what would be an overview of power level 
you know, the, so for, for these guys yeah, that they so wanted to know interesting, with their products. The, this is a direct flow, so it, it generates a lot of power. Okay. So, I mean, you can get up to about 100 foot pounds, give or take, in, in a 30. In a 30 cal. Yeah, and all the way down to 9 or 12 foot pounds. I've set these up for guys that do professional pest control with, you know, like under 12 foot pounds. Which is perfect. Iguanas, rats, squirrels. Right, yeah. You know, whatever. whatever, yeah. So, Man. yeah. And I, I see some toys on the table. Yeah, we do have I some toys. I see a toy here. I see one over there. Yeah, so this is our speed loader toy. Okay. So this is for the Leshy. And I'll grab a mag here. Yeah. So, what basically, it's like, remember when Dirty Harry was doing his shoot? Yeah. And he would like pull out and do his speed? Yes, That's sir. That's what this is. So you just preload these up. You load your pellets in and you lock each one like so. Okay. And then you can then line this up evenly here. Okay. I think this is the wrong caliber, but yeah, you get just, the idea. Yeah. And it would automatically and it just load drops, your pellets. falls right into them. Yep. And so oh, that's a great idea. So that way you can take it in the field. You know, have six magazines essentially. How do they loaded. not fall out the back end? Is there like? Uh, a... Yeah, they're all closed. Oh, I see. Yep. Okay. So as you load them up, they all, you can see how the little. Yeah, I saw that turn in there. Yeah. I'll take pictures and put them up on the screen so these guys can yeah. see while we're talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's first, that's our new speed loader. Speed loader. What's this thing in the backpack here? So that. Take grab that. that yeah, that's a PZ. That's super cool. So this Dang. is this is a really unique thing because a lot of guys only have direct fill compressors, uh -huh. so they don't have a way to fill a tank. So now you have a way to fill a tank. This so is like the easy fill. But made it with a bottle. Right, a, a hook, bottle hook, and an easy fill had a baby. out a compressor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. so cool. So here's your little locking thing, so that you don't uh, you don't accidentally activate it in your backpack. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So uh, any and this will fit. This is a um, one eight BSPP, and for you guys that don't know, most air guns have that thread. Mm -hmm. So if you have a, a different brand that takes a foster fitting, you can just thread a foster fitting into the end of it. So they're they're common threads. Okay. And so this is essentially how it works. Yeah. With this, you put this in. Squeeze. Squeeze. Gauge, and it fills. There's air. That's all the air that blows oh, off. Goodness. And now you can keep this in your backpack. And you know, it. Most of those little compressors can do about what 700 cc. I think is what they kind of recommend. So the little guys, yeah. Yeah, but you can also fill it from a bottle, just like you would a gun. I don't know if you can catch this. In. Well, you can detach it, right? Bring it over here. Yeah. Yeah. So you would have this hooked up to your. your yeah, this would be. Yeah, this would be hooked to either like a. Uh, an yeah, like hose. a like an air hose on a big tank. Yeah. So if you want to just take your backpack with you, you and you can that, just, and then I can fill this. Right, you fill it just like you would fill your gun. It's yeah. got a little gauge on the back there. Yep. Yeah. Just pull it out. Super cool. And that's it. Yeah. And then what if they don't know what this is? That's an easy fill. Okay. Yes. So an easy fill is just basically an air chuck that doesn't bleed air off off your line so it just bleeds air from the fill probe back so the line's always pressurized and you don't have the waste of the whole line blowing out each time you fill and, and exactly and yeah perch yeah. between so that's just that's the easy fill awesome god did we miss anything i think we got everything oh we got one more okay yes, one more toy it. bring it in okay so you know how like when you have your bottle and it and the hose comes out and it's always like sticking out in the side yes. or if you want to put it in the back yeah so what we have is a, a check sound swivel so i'll give that to you and i'll show you on the wait tank so this here. goes right in the top of uh oh yeah. no this goes in the in the scba tank so thing? we have it here are these guys made in poland Hold on, we're so we have here so so this goes into your your uh 300 so this din. sits in here yeah so, so it's standard din fitting standard din fitting yep and then it's it's got a swivel so that this can I go love, in a position I love that. that you can that's genius what's this called that's called it uh, easy din. Easy din. Easy fill. Easy din. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Easy. All right. Now I gotta ask you, Brian. Yeah. Why Armac? I've been on the circuit for a long time, and you've got this beautiful me. tent set up. Set I up was here. a mystery. Like, I, did he, yeah, was this man. guy real? It's good to see you out here. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Well, first off, Justin invited me, and you know, it's a, a big event, and I thought it was time to come to something so cool and show off the wear, wear and we got some new cool toys, and you know, support the industry and kind of grow meet some people meet you yeah finally yeah finally put a face at the name yeah exactly awesome. so yeah I just felt like this was uh, kind of like growing event I had to be here so it's good to see you under this uh, under this canvas man. yeah yeah we're, you know I'll, I'll be doing more of these I think so good thank you for being generous with yeah. your time and, and taking us through the lineup thank you and just wow man thanks Steve yep and I'm sure you got some shooters out here this week good luck yeah thank you, you bet. all right take care